Hello e friends, welcome to the Doing It Easy channel. Um, today we are going to create a simple drop down list like this. Uh, first let's uh, start with the database. Let's assume that the items table has a brand also, an attribute called brands. So first let's create a brands table and brands table let's give it two columns. Uh, Brand ID. Uh, this is a primary. Uh, primary to increment and the brand name. Okay, is a voucher. Let's give it 50 characters. Okay, save. Now, let's first. Okay, let's first get into the G module to create our. Models. So the password is root, I think. Model generator. Table name is brands. And the path is application modules, item master models. That's the path that we want. Let's preview and generate. And of course, let's generate our CRUD application as well. So CRUD generator model is brands. Where is brands? Brands, brands, preview, okay, generate. Let's go to the source and demo. Uh, protected uh, controllers and con uh, cut brands controller and add it to the module. So, I hope you guys know about modules in E. So, if you don't know, you can go back and watch my previous lesson I think okay let's grab the view files brands cut it and put it into our views okay let's check this out so the URL goes first the name of the module item master and the controller name brands okay and let's create a brand uh, mm, let's say mm, doing it easy is a brand Let's create another. Ye is another brand. Okay, we have got two brands now. We can see those two brands. Okay, so what we were going to do is we were going to create a drop down list. So let's go to the items and create. See now what we want to do is ah, let's first combine these two. Uh, tables for let you have to have a foreign key to the brands table so items let's go to the structure and create a column after selling go let's give it a name brands brand id and of course it's, it's index and save so now in PHP my admin you can go to the relational view and select what where is this brands brand ID column it has to link to the brands table brand ID okay on delete restrict on update restrict okay. oh we can't do this with an item inside here so let's delete this item and again go to the relational view and select brand brand id okay save okay now that is done so now we want to draw uh, in create items what we want to do is we want to select the brand and in a drop down list we want to get the brands in our database right here we have two brands right now the doing it easy brand name and ye um so let's create a drop down list so let's get into the view file of this create items mm. More views items form okay this is the view file now since okay now since we adjusted the brand table uh, items table since we added a new column we have to regenerate the model for this table so to do that 
let's go to the G module again it's not that difficult module generator and we can regenerate yes we want the item master models so now see there is a little bit of difference so let's check out the differences ah yes we have added a new property brands brand ID that is true and we have a relationship as well relationship as well yeah right here is the relationship so this relationship using this relationship we can go to the brands table and do what uh, get values from the brands table and all that so there's a relationship as well that is that is because of our foreign key okay okay that's it let's override this the and generate okay so now we created our again created our model so let's go back now we want a drop down list so to create a drop down list i'll copy the code from here it's if you regenerate the crud of course there will be model friends brand name name i'll refresh my project so everything gets updated so now i'll take you to the see see brands brand name so brands brand name and we want a drop down list okay i'll change here right from this is supposed to be brands brand name okay and model form there is a function called drop down list in ye so it's pretty easy so i'll show you now what this function does is it gets an array of values for example let's let me let me put uh, uh, brand let's put uh, brand one and uh, brand one let me add, an, add another brand brand two and let save and let's refresh this Brand's brand name is not defined. Hmm. Oh, sorry. It has to be brand's brand ID. How stu stupid of me. It has to be attribute labels, brand's brand ID. I have put brand brand name. So they are, they are wondering where's brand name. So, refresh now. See. Now, this is not what we want actually. We want. Uh, the values from the database to come so uh, now this is a simple array now now you guys have an idea of how this function works uh, the value becomes the in the select option the value becomes brand one I'll inspect element and show you uh, down here okay brand one that's the value right here and brand one and that's the value here so now we know that we have to pass an array so we don't want array actually we want oh uh, we want values from the database so how to get values from the database it's not that difficult actually okay uh, let's get the values so in php open and close let's say brands because call the brands model and find all we want everything find all okay now we have all the brands in the database table right here so so if i print out this square brands yes and you see there are two brands let me control you there's the doing it is a brand and the e brand okay so we got the values from the database simple so we don't want this we want to create a drop down list to do that we have to call another function call another function this function name is 
hold on I'm not sure in the name of the function let me check right here okay actually we don't have to create uh, we can do it in line let's let me copy and paste this let's create change brands okay what this, this does is uh, okay chtml list data this is a new function and this function is now uh, chtml list data brands model find all we got the values and we have to specify another two parameters okay i'm missing one parenthesis okay so the first now now as you know this returns brands model find all returns all the active records so and the name of those two columns are the name of those two columns are right here the brand name and the brand id so we want in the select option select option the value has to be the brand id and the name brand name has to be the the actual value that is showing here okay so let's put brand id and brand name save and refresh there you now we have two values from the database now it's a drop down list so let me explain further the list data what it does is it gets all since now you sorry since now you know this returns an array and what it does it gets the array and it kind of disassembles the array and puts into an option tag the value of the option tag becomes the brand id and the actual value we are seeing becomes the brand name so pretty simple it's not that difficult uh, so that's about it i think so now we can select uh, create a brand doing it easy and the item is eulogy cost is very very expensive great now okay now you can go and check the database and go to the items table and there is the brand that we selected and the brand id is saved automatically so i think this will end the video for now because it has taken me 12 minutes to explain this so don't get confused i hope i hope it's not confusing it's really really simple all you have to do is create a drop down list brand and give it get it and the chtml list data brands this returns the array and this function list data function disassembles the array and puts into option tags and creates a drop down list simple as that okay i'll see you next time around uh, i'll think of what i'll teach you next have a good day and have fun with you and of course please subscribe to the subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and please like my videos comment and it's really helpful helpful for me thank you very much have a good day bye